All right, today we'll be reviewing another multi-tool. Uh, you could probably guess where from, because I'm about to tell you. It is from Menards Farm and Home. It is a no-name brand. It is a 12-in-1 multi-tool. It is a little interesting combination, as well as the shape. Yeah, I think this will be a good review. Uh, I got it, like I said, from Menards for about $5. I don't exactly remember what the price was, but it was somewhere near $5. And uh, I already threw the packaging away, so I do not remember which company made this one, nor does it even have a logo in the middle, so I assume it's just some generic brand that Menards has. Uh, let's get into the tools now, or the multi-tool itself. So. As you can see, it has this sleek laser blue aluminum shell, which is pretty nice in my opinion. I do like it. It is smooth to the touch, like uh, another laser blue multi-tool that I just so happen to have. Not the same color. Basically the same material. Very smooth as well. Uh, not, not good to grip onto. So, that's a... It's a minus for me. It's minus one point. It does have this little keychain loop, which I find kind of pointless because, in my opinion, I would never want something this big or bulky on my keychain. But it's not a bad touch. It is an awfully thick multi tool, but that is understandable with how many tools it has and how small of a size it can pack it into. So, let's start with the first one. First off is your standard knife. Now for the size of this multi-tool, this knife is pretty big. It's about two and a half inches. Just about decently sharp. Sharper than my last knife that I just made a review on, the Pohaku multi-tool. It does not have a locking mechanism, but it does have a snap-in function. Goes in fairly well. Has a fine polish, the ones, you know, the ones I do not like just because it affects the tool's functionality in my opinion. Next up is a, uh, how do I get this out of here? I don't know. Let's start off on this side. So on this side we have a can opener. You know how can opening is. Not very fun. But I feel like this, this multi-tool will make it a little bit easier with how big and comfortable it is to hold. This isn't razor sharp. It's not supposed to be, so that's good. It would definitely open a can if you really wanted it to. <laughs> Next up, we got a flathead slash bottle opener. This was not a very good flathead design, not very square. Uh, has that smooth polish to it so it wouldn't grip onto the bolt or whatever you're trying to flathead very well. Kind of short, not center, not lined up with the middle of this, so using it would be a little bit awkward. Next up is a pair of scissors. Now I gotta say, I like this, I like this pair of scissors. Design seems kind of fragile, but it would definitely get the job done. I don't know if you can hear that. That's some good snipping noise right there. Decently long blades too. Not too uncomfortable to use. Good scissors for a multi-tool and fairly large compared to the size of the multi-tool in general. Uh, next up is a fish hook grabber and then a fish scaler I believe. They got the design right. It's, I would prefer, uh, personally, I prefer these to be smoothly polished due to how effective it would be at scaling fish. And then also, that fish hook grabber is not the best though, but it's not terrible. Definitely get the job done if you wanted it to. Next up is the saw. I will say this saw is a little bit shoddy. Look at those teeth. Not great, not great at all. Let me get another saw for comparison. That saw, no. 
This one has the saw. My gold standard obviously has every single tool you could ever want. This is a good saw for a multi-tool. Look at that bad boy. Several, a couple dozen teeth, very sharp, very lined up, nice and sharp. That's a good saw. This mediocre, absolutely mediocre saw, but it is about three inches long, so I would give it that. That's all the tools for this side. Not terrible multi-tool for $5 so far. In fact, I'd say this is a pretty good buy for $5. Next up is a wine cork opener. Standard wine cork opener in a good, it's in a good spot or a decent spot. The best spot for it would be right in the middle, but I don't have any, I guess, gripes about it being in that spot right there. It would, you know, definitely open a wine bottle if you wanted it to. Next up is a needle threader, if I remember correctly. Uh, this is not a needle threader, by the way. It is. Its functionality as a needle threader is uh, zero. It would not thread any needle unless the needle had about a one centimeter by one centimeter hole. So, personally, I would not recommend this for threading needles. I would consider it more of, I don't know, just an awl. Not good. Next up is a Phillips head screwdriver. My favorite part. Now this Phillips head actually isn't terrible. It looks fairly well made. Looks like they just took a Phillips head bit off of a screwdriver and put it on this multi-tool, which isn't terrible. It does have that smooth polish, so it's not going to grab onto those screws nearly as well, but it would get the job done if you wanted it to. Decent length. It's in a decent position as well. It can. You, it has two snapping positions too, which is nice. It has one right there, one right there, depending on how, depending on where you want it. So I like that aspect of it. Next up is an actual just all. It's not sharp at all. It is kind of in a bad spot for an all. I wouldn't use this all very much. Yeah, not a good spot for an all. Not very well, not well made either, but yeah, you might find a use for it. Next up is a, a filer, a bastard file, which is actually pretty coarse. It's actually pretty rough. Got my nail there, just a couple couple strokes. I guess you could also use that to clean out your toe gunk if you really wanted to. Uh, overall, it's a pretty decent multi-tool in my opinion. I do like the laser blue color. If I remember correctly, there's a red color as well. Would I personally use it? <sighs> Maybe. This is something I'd keep in a fishing, you know, just because of the scaler and the hook grabber, I would personally just keep it in like a, a tackle box or something like that and not much more. It'd be handy just to, in case you needed to cut open some packaging that you have trouble with or whatnot. But otherwise, it's just a fairly simple multi-tool. It's good to have around and just in case. A rating, honestly, for a Five out of, for five dollars, I'd give this a ten out of ten, maybe a nine out of ten. Yeah, let's go nine out of ten. The all and the saw have yet to be desired, or have much to be desired. Uh, yeah, that's it for this video.